Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a and n are positive integers. Then either the n through of a is a positive integer, or the n through of a is irrational. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to use two preliminary results. Here's the first one. Suppose p is a positive rational number. Then, there exist positive integers a and b, such that p is equal to a over b, and the greatest common divisor of a and b is equal to 1. So what this is essentially saying is that every positive rational number has a simplest form. Right? For example, 4 eighths can be simplified down to 1 half. Here's the second preliminary result we're going to use. Suppose a, b, and n are positive integers. If a to the power of n is a divisor of b to the power of n, then a is a divisor of b. Now, I'll leave links in the description to proofs of these preliminary results. But now, let's get into proving this theorem. To start the proof, let's give ourselves two positive integers, a and n. The whole goal from here is to prove that either the n through of a is a positive integer, or the n root of a is irrational. Now, if the n root of a happens to be irrational, then we're done. So, that covers the case where n root of a is irrational. The only other case we could have is that the n root of a is rational. So let's suppose that the n root of a is rational. In this case, we are going to show that the nth root of a must be a positive integer. Now, since the nth root of a is rational, and the nth root of a is positive, we can apply fact number one. So there must exist positive integers, capital A and capital B, such that, in this case, nth root of a is equal to capital A over capital B, and the greatest common divisor of capital A and capital B is equal to one. Now instead, I'm going to call capital A and capital B P and Q. Now, if we take this equation and raise both sides to the power of n, we get that A is equal to P to the power of n over Q to the power of n. And then if we multiply Q to the power of n to the other side, we get that P to the n is equal to A times Q to the n. And now we see that p to the n is equal to an integer times q to the n. Therefore, q to the n is a divisor of p to the n. And now that we know that this is true, we can apply fact number two, right? Since q to the power of n is a divisor of p to the n, we can conclude that q is a divisor of p. Now, at this point, we know that q is a divisor of itself and we know that q is a divisor of p. So, q is a common divisor of p and q, but since 1 is the greatest common divisor of p and q, 1 must be greater than or equal to q. In fact, since q is a positive integer, we also know that q is greater than or equal to 1. So, because q is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 1, those two inequalities imply that q must be equal to 1. And therefore, the nth root of a is equal to p over 1, which is equal to p, which is a positive integer. And therefore, the nth root of a is a positive integer, which is what we set out to show in the case where the nth root of a is rational. So putting this all together, we consider two cases. Either the nth root of a is irrational or the nth root of a is rational. And we observed if the nth root of a is irrational, then we're done. There's nothing more to prove. But in the other case where the nth root of a is rational, we found that the nth root of a must be a positive integer. So we have shown that either the nth root of a is a positive integer or the nth root of a is irrational. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.